I've just got a question about the Jerobon 1670 inks. I've got a bottle of the sparkling inks from Diamine, Shimmertastic, but the sparkles are quite difficult to clean out of my pens. Thus, I only use them in my Lamy, Vista, or Safari. Are the 1670 inks easier to clean out or more on par with the sparkling inks? It's, it's uh, a good question. In fact, Drew, who's my uh, customer care manager and has been with me for five years, um, so he's seen the evolution of all of these different 1670s come out, he, uh, he just, just made an observation to me, I'm not joking, like a couple of days ago. And he, he just walked into my office and he's like, you know, he's like, our customers are saying that there's definitely a difference in how the Shimmertastic inks clean from the Jerobon inks. And uh, he says that the Jerobon inks are a little easier to clean than the Shimmertastic. Says the Shimmertastic, something about them, they uh, just like cling and get into uh, places more and the Jerobons uh, clean out a little bit easier. So I don't know exactly what it is. I think it has to do with the type of um, whatever, uh, the sparkles, if you will, for lack of a better term, uh, that, um, that they use. You know, they're two completely different companies using two different things. So I think there's something going on between the, the sparkles that the two are using. Now, there are some reports every now and then of flow issues and stuff like that. Definitely at this time of year when it's really hot, ink is evaporating, the sparkles stay behind, you need to clean the pens regularly, use them regularly, um, and stuff like that. I know I personally, I used Emerald of Shavor in a broad Twisby Eco that I had for eight months, same ink. You know, I didn't use it a ton, but same ink was sitting in there for eight months. And it took that long for it to actually dry up and clog and stuff like that. So it'll, it'll work pretty well. So um, if you are in the situation, I, I will say that anytime you're using like an unusual type of ink like this, um, it's, it's usually best to try to keep it dedicated to a specific type of pen just because you know you don't want to go throwing this sparkly ink into every pen that you own and then you got to thoroughly clean out it will clean out but you got to thoroughly clean out every single pen that you own and that's really kind of annoying um, try to stick to pens that are a little bit easier to clean anything that's a cartridge converter fill is almost always going to be easier to clean because the converter comes off you can flush water straight through it with a bulb syringe you can use a pen flush which is kind of like the next level to be able to get that sparkle junk out of there if you're using a piston fill or something like that, especially if it's a demonstrator like my Twisby, Twisbees are okay though, because you can actually disassemble them and kind of clean them out and take the feeds out and stuff like that. But other pens, it may or may not be as easy to do. If you got a Mont Blanc or a Pelican or something like that, it may not be disassemblable quite as easily. So then you get into a situation where you get sparkles all over the place and you gotta, you know, really go through a lot to clean them out. So I would say if that's the case, you know, the 1670s are probably gonna do a little better for you. The diamond inks are pretty great too, though. Honestly, I wouldn't necessarily get 100% hung up on the cleaningness of it. If either way, if you're getting into using sparkly stuff in your pens, it's gonna be an elevated uh, degree of cleaning that's necessary, but it's a little bit easier with the, with the Jerobons. So at least that's been my personal experience and that's been some feedback we've gotten from our customers.